Lena von Osten, formerly Lena Heydrich, was born on June 14, 1911, in Fehmarn, an island off the northern coast of Germany. Lena's older brother Hans had joined the Nazi party and was a member of the Sturmat Island, or the SA. He spoke highly of the movement to Lena, and she attended a party rally in 1929 where Adolf Hitler made a speech. Shortly thereafter, Lena von Osten joined the Nazi party with party membership number 1,201,380. On December 6, 1930, at the age of 19, she attended rowing club all in Kiel where she met a naval lieutenant named Reinhard Heydrich. They became romantically involved and announced their engagement only 12 days later, on December 18, 1930. In 1931, he was charged with, conduct, unbecoming to an officer and gentleman, for breaking an engagement promise to a woman he had known for six months before his engagement to Lena, Admiral Eric Rader dismissed Heydrich from the Navy in the April. Lena persuaded him to look at the recently formed Schutz Staffel, or SS, as a career option. In 1931, SS leader Heinrich Himmler began setting up a counterintelligence division of the SS, and acting on the advice of his associate Karl von Eberstein, a friend of the Heydrichs, Himmler agreed to interview Reinhard Heydrich, but cancelled their appointment at the last minute. Lena ignored this message and, and sent him to Munich anyway. Eberstein met Heydrich at the train station and took him to see Himmler, who asked him to for ideas on developing an SS intelligence service. Himmler was so impressed that he appointed Heydrich immediately as the chief of the new SS intelligence service, which later became known as the Sicherheitsdienst, or SD. He entered into the Hamburg SS on July 14, 1931. That August, he was transferred to Munich where he lived alone in a boarding house which rented rooms to unmarried SS men. Lena and Reinhard later married at a small church in Grossenbrode on December 26, 1931. Lena gave birth to two sons, Klaus, born June 17, 1933, and Heider on December 23, 1934. By the late 1930s, the duties of Reinhard meant he worked long hours and was often away from home. This left Lena at home with the children and running the household on her own. This placed a serious strain on their marriage, they had, a daughter named Silke, on April 9, 1939. Reinhard proudly showed off his baby daughter and they had a very close relationship. Their fourth child, a daughter named Marty was born July 24, 1942, shortly after her husband Reinhard's death in Prague. Klaus died in a traffic accident on October 24, 1943. On that day, Klaus was cycling with his brother Haida in the courtyard of their castle, Panensky Bridge in the estate in northwestern Czechoslovakia, seeing that the gate to the street was open, Klaus rode out onto the street where he was hit by a truck coming down the road. Klaus died from his injuries later that afternoon and his body was buried in the garden of the estate. Lena wanted to have the driver and all the passengers shot, but an investigation found the driver not guilty. In recognition of her husband's service to the Nazi cause, Hitler gave to Lena the country estate of young Fernbreshan in rural Czechoslovakia. She sold the other family properties including a house in Berlin and the hunting lodge Ninoin, in Brandenburg, in eastern Germany. She also kept several prisoners at the estate for forced labor. The family lived there until April 1945, when they left the area to flee the Soviet Red Army. The family made it to Bavaria and then moved back to the island of Fehmarn where they lived after the British Army moved later that year. Lena Heydrich was cleared during the denazification proceedings after the end of the war. She later won the right to receive a pension as the result of a series of court cases against the West German government in 1956 and 1959. She was entitled to a large pension because her husband was a German general killed in action. The government had previously declined to pay her pension due to her husband's major role in the Holocaust. In Czechoslovakia, she was tried in absentia and sentenced to life imprisonment, but never served the sentence. 
In 1965, she met the Finnish theatre director, Mona Manin while she was on holiday in Finland. They married for the purpose of changing her last name, from Heidrich to Manian. She ran Reinhard Drick's old summer house on Feyman Island as a restaurant and inn until it burned down in February 1969, when welding work within the roof space set fire to the thatched roof. Her second husband, Manin died on September 14, 1969, in Kangasniemi, in southern Finland. In 1976, she published a memoir called, Life with a War Criminal. She spoke with several authors, sent in letters of correction to many newspapers, and defended the reputation of her Reinhard Heydrich until she died on August 14, 1985, on her home island, Lena